Yeah, and the male person is mad at me again. They're mad at me again because I've got myself another substantially large subscription box in the mail via the folks over at Lutaku. Lutaku clearly, by you can see here, is one of the largest subscription boxes that you can get. Inside Lutaku's box on a monthly basis, you get statues, collectibles, and more in the vein of anime. Or in some cases, we've also gotten ourselves some comic-related characters as well. But we're going to go ahead and get this opened up find out what's inside. And if you, the viewer, like what you see and like to subscribe to Lutaku, I'll put the information down below. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up post haste because I know there's places that you guys need to go. Things you need to do. Maybe you've already promised your day to somebody else saying, oh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Well, I want you to get to it right away. So I won't take up too much of your time. We're going to go ahead and cut the seal on the bottom, cut the seal on the sides, get this opened up, and see what we got inside. Let's have a look here. Immediately, we're treated to... Uh, down below it says, and the name of the... What does that say? The name of the wanted ability to which I've been entrusted is none other than One For All. I think that's actually what it says. And the name of that... I can see, I can't even see that. The name of the haunted or wanted ability to which I've been entrusted is none other than the power to transfer power. One for all. Oh, there's actually three of them here. The power to transfer power. The power to transfer power. And the name of the wanted ability to which I've been entrusted is none other than one for all. <laughs> You're seeing it differently than what I'm seeing it. It's a little harder to make it out because it's actually a lenticular. You see that? I don't know if you can see it there. It's a lenticular cover. So in other words, when you tilt it, not only is it 3D, but it actually changes its images, which is pretty cool. That's what the lack looks like. It's just plastic, just a white backing to it. I feel bad because I can't, I can barely make out. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments section what that actually says. But it is a little harder, a little trickier to make out what that actually says in the word box down below. Still pretty cool nonetheless. We also have inside, let's have a look here. We've got Tokyo Ghouls. I think that says Tokyo Ghouls. Or it could say Tokyo... I hope the whole video is me not trying to decipher what this actually says. It does look like it's a towel. You know what? I'm going to find the card. I've debated back and forth whether I want to actually read the card while I'm opening stuff up or if I want to read it after the fact. Now, so this one here, right here, is the My Hero Academia. And it's the One for All Lutaku exclusive lenticular print. One of our coolest Lutaku exclusives, this 3D lenticular print, shows off the transformation of All Might and the transfer of power to Motoria through One for All. The print took a long time to design, so it can look correct and achieve a smooth transition between the three images. Hope you all enjoy this rare one-of-a-kind print. Note, the print looks best under bright lights, which hopefully... My bright light has aided and assisted in that. That, uh, that print, by the way, Lutaki lenticular print, is 18 US dollars. And while we're actually in the habit of also holding this in our hand, why don't we have a look? This is the Tokyo Ghoul. It is actually, I said ghouls, but it's Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, this is the Kaneki, Kaneki scarf. Or is it Kaneki Scarf? It might be actually Kaneki Scarf. This Tokyo Ghoul Scarf features Kaneki in his ghoul mask in a red and black design. Keep yourself warm during the cold winter days. That's a nice little addition there. Also inside, we'll just put the card down for a second. It appears we've got ourselves a, a knapsack. Or not a knapsack. Uh, looks like a sports tote bag. You know, it's funny that... Just kind of taking the perspective of younger viewers versus older viewers. I remember in a couple of videos, I've and even said it in this video, I mentioned knapsack. And it's surprising how many people 
don't know what a knapsack is and even said, don't you mean backpack? Well, knapsack is actually the same as backpack. I think actually when we were growing up, I speak for the older viewers, uh, I walked to school wearing a knapsack. We often called it backpacks as well, but I think even when we were going shopping for a carry-all that could be housed on our back, we often called them knapsacks, not backpacks. K-N-A-P, I'm not, I'm just kind of just scribbling it there, K-N-A-P-S-A-C-K, uh, knapsack. Uh, but yes, you could also call it a backpack. Either way, it's not even close to what this is. This is the Tokyo Ghoul uh, sports tote bag. And uh, let me just actually show you what it looks like right there. The Tokyo Ghoul duffel bag. They call it a duffel bag, actually. It's our first ever duffel bag. This Lutaku exclusive sports Kaniki's Kajun, a ghost, a ghoul's predatory organ and weapon, on one side of an all black color throughout. A great practical item for fans of this awesome show. Now, I mean, that's a good idea. You get yourself a toque and you also get yourself. Actually, that's a scarf, excuse me. And you also get yourself a duffel bag. Uh, things that you don't normally expect to get in the Lutaku boxes, but still, nonetheless, very well received. By the way, the scarf is 12 US dollars. The duffel bag, 25 US dollars. And again, like the Lutaku print, the lenticular print was 18. Further examining the contents of this box, the duffel bag sort of took up the majority of everything that was in there. We got ourselves also a pin. Oh, I like the look of this pin. Tokyo Ghoul. This is the Tuka. T-O-U-K-A. Tuka. Karishma. This limited edition pin for only 500 released. There's the name down below again. I always do apologize. I consistently want to continue to apologize for the, my incorrect pronunciation T-O-U-K-A, would that be Toka or Tuka? Karishima. Karishima. And uh, up at the top there, it is the Lutaku Tokyo Ghoul. It's a substantially heavy pin, actually. I love the fiery wings that are on the back of her here. Very, very cool. All of these things are things that I really want to get into doing more so of, not necessarily the unboxings necessarily, but the shows in which these unboxings are based from really would like to sit down. Time is always such a harsh mistress in my life. I never seem to have available time to do anything uh, between regular work, no, not YouTube work, but regular work, the Monday to Friday adult work I have to go to. And then of course, raising a kid, raising family, always eats up a lot of time so what time I do have available usually is often spent watching of all things things on Netflix but I would like to get around I know you guys have very generously suggested some shows that I should get into watching anime specifically and I really would time permitting of course want to get into that more so so that when I do open up boxes like this, I have probably a little bit more knowledge of the stuff that uh, we're having a look at. Unfortunately, right now, I can only really appreciate the collectibles for what they are. For example, like the statue here, this is a really neat looking statue. A lot of these statues inside these little taco boxes are really super cool, even if I don't really know a lot about the characters in which they're based from. It usually goes the way it is. I mean, you could have like, casual viewers of some shows. You can have people that are aware of the shows and maybe just like myself don't have a lot of time to get into them. Or you have people as well that just really like the look of the statues, even if, again, they don't watch the show in which it's based from. Now that all being said, I'm going to go ahead and peg this into place. Let's see which way it goes. Does it go this way? Does it go this way? Maybe it goes the opposite way. Ah, it goes the opposite way. And then this is going to go here. I'm going to go ahead and take the body. I guess I could really put together the body and then we'll put it onto the statue base. The torso, I'm assuming, goes only one way. I mean, that's the way a torso normally faces. So we'll go ahead and stick with that. And then just wedge that. It's really tight. Wedge, wedge, wedge. Let's see. We get it in there. It almost seems as if... Ah, oh, there we go. It almost seemed as if like the opening wasn't as wide as the peg. Then we go ahead and take the head. 
The head will go exactly go this way. It goes this way. Okay, so it slightly goes on an angle. The shape also will kind of help me to decide which way it's supposed to go. So the head actually faces an angle. It doesn't face forward. And then we can go ahead and take the base. This goes into his leg like that. Oh, and then the little, almost like a, a crutch there, supports the leg. So you have like a character that's leaping in the air. By the way, this is also from my Hero Acad Acad Academia. Why am I having such a tough time pronouncing that name? This is The Amazing Heroes, Volume 1, Azuku Ria, or Midoriya. And then down below it says Quirk, One for All. So there's what it looks like in the box. This is what it looks like out of the box. Have I watched this show? No, I have not. However, still, still think I, the statue as a whole looks fantastic. I love the expression that they have on the face here. There's something also to be said about the anime statues, which make them really stand out from the crowd. Like the expressions on their face and the way they panel outline things like such as eyes or like the inner areas of the mouth. Really just, it pops on a lot of these figures that we get, these statues we get in the Lutaku boxes. There's a full turnaround of what the statue looks like. It's great, great coloring. I guess you could call that a teal blue. Not a which a color that you see that very often anymore, but the colorings of the red really pop on this. Um, I don't know if the, is this supposed to stick up. I guess, I guess it is. I don't want to. I mean, this pocket is also sticking up. It's probably the fact that he's leaping up in the air is why the pockets are sticking out the way that they are. Love the boots, the treading on the boots, the laces that they put into the shoes. It's got an amazing flow to it. Again, have I seen the have I seen the show? Unfortunately, not. But I do think that it's a neat looking statue, nonetheless. And by the way, speaking of the statue, this is once again the My Hero Academia. Is it Academia? The Amazing Heroes Volume One, Izuku Maideria. It's no easy feat to capture all of the energy and style of My Hero Academia. But Ban Presto's new The Amazing Hero figure series succeeds with its first release inspired by Izuku Midoriya, or Deku, in the middle of the all-or-nothing fights at a height at about 5.5 inches. He's depicted mid-jump in his hero costume with his arm pulled back for what's sure to be an epic one-for-all punch. That statue is, rate, is valued at 30 US dollars. Collectively, you take that, you take the duffel bag, you take the scarf, you take the lenticular print, and you take the pin, and combine all of that, you're looking at a total estimated value of 97 US dollars based on the lowest online prices at the time of writing. Not bad, not bad at all. We got ourselves five items. Let me know down below what you think the best item was. And by the way, this is also from the December 2018 box. We're sort of still kind of playing catch up, it seems, with the mail arriving. Uh, Lutaco box, we just finished having a look at the November box, which I actually thought was December. I thought this box was the January, but instead it actually was the December 2018 box entitled Unleash My Hero Academia and Tokyo Ghoul. Interested in subscribing to Lutaku Box and getting a wide range of collectible items all in the vein or mostly in the vein of anime, you can head over to www.lutaku.com and subscribe. You will likely be on board for the February box as January's box has already been shipped out. Uh, I don't think it's arrived yet here, but again, like I go to the post office usually like once a week, sometimes twice a week. It might already be at the post office. If I pick it up, you can expect to see a January 2019 box from, again, the folks over at Lutaku. Head over to www.lutaku.com. Subscribe today. You can still get yourself your good, very strong chance that you'll be able to get the February 2019 box delivered right to your door. Today, we were having a look at the Lutaku December 2018 box entitled Unleash. If you guys, speaking of subscribing, haven't had a yet a chance to subscribe yet to this channel, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.